God is good. Hey. Where's Dad? He's out on the skipper to work. Go get him. I had a lot of high expectations that this would be a great place to be able to go to plus I knew the terrain and knew that there was elk in there and I had a pretty good idea that we would be able to get on some. All right here we go we are on the road first hunt of the year we are heading to Colorado. First morning. Getting up, getting the rest of our stuff ready. As you can tell, it's like running behind. Cool. Spots. I mean, he was 20 yards, maybe, if that. We just got set up, got our camp set up, and now we're gonna just start going for up in some dark timber in this bowl. On the way in, we've seen some fresh tracks and we saw some signs, some rubs. So, I think we are in the chips. So me and Zach, we just kept plugging along. We just kept going deeper in and getting higher and higher and higher up the mountain. After a while, we finally just made it all the way to the top of the mountain, about 11,000 feet. And after not hearing anything, we decided that we were just gonna take a break, um, kick back and have a little bit of lunch. Taking a much needed lunch break not really expecting anything to happen when all of a sudden we heard a, a branch snap right below us right at the right below the cliff where we were sitting on we heard this branch snap and me and Zach kind of looked at each other like did you did you hear that and it wasn't 10 seconds after we heard this branch snap in a bull bugle right below us not 80 yards from where we were sitting
a sudden, he just he heard you. We were sitting here, we're just chilling. I'm on Facebook. Zach and me are both on our phones, just playing around because we ain't heard nothing. We heard like a, a loud clunk, like a branch break down there. We're like, huh? And then all of a sudden, he just bugled. And I'm like, that sounded like a hunter. Zach's like, no, I think that was a bull. And so I got my stuff ready, and I just bugled, and he chuckled right back at us. Sucker, come right up in the wheelhouse. How far was he? 15 yards. <laughs> <laughs> and he got real quiet, and I didn't hear him fall. And we were just kind of sitting up on top of the hill, and then I heard him moving around again. I think I heard him breathing heavy down there, too. So we're just going to leave him. We're going to give him about an hour before we start going down there. Less than a mile away from where we shot him. Big bull down, baby. <laughs> I was really, really excited when Zach told me he could he saw him. It was just, it, it, again, going back to it, it was just an amazing experience and the way God worked it out. I mean, here it is, the first afternoon. I mean, how many elk hunters can go to a public ground area over the counter and say that they can shoot a five by six bull the first afternoon? I mean, it just doesn't happen like that. I mean, if you can sit there and go through what we just went through and say that there's not a God, there's something wrong with you because we saw his work right there at hand. I mean, we had a beautiful background. The scenery was amazing. Had a beautiful bull come in. And it, it just, I can't say how unbelievable of an experience it was. And to be able to see that big old bull laying there on his side, it was awesome. It was, it was a memory that I will always, always remember.